Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd do a quick tutorial, uh, just a quickie, on the actual game uh, Marvel Avengers and how the gear system, the character sheet, and just the general you know mechanics of the character system works. Now, I don't know whether people will spend too much time on this screen that often, you know, while they're uh, <laughs> smashing all those bad guys, but um, this is a really, really important part of the game, believe it or not. Because it is a role-playing game, a roguelike type role-playing game, where there's upgrading gear, collecting gear, different um, ratings of gear, power levels, character levels, loadouts, skill trees, everything that a role-playing game has. You wouldn't expect this game to have that, you know. You'd expect it to just be a cookie-cutter type uh, Marvel Avengers sort of heroes game, but it's not. It's so much more than that. So I'll just spend a few more, min you know, a few minutes showing you around, should I say? So let's have a look. We've got the character sheet. We've got loadouts, and this loadout's active. Now I haven't got far enough into the game yet to get to sort of separate loadouts, but you know what loadouts do. It's basically a overall template that you save, so you could have loadout one, two, three, four, and five, etc. So it's a quick, on the fly, chop out, you know, chop and change system where you can just equip what loadout you want. Your skills, well, self explanatory, but these systems are very deep. So this is the skill tree system. Up at the top, we have primary. So this is the primary skill trees, there's four of them. You've got light attacks, heavy attacks, ranged attacks, and intrinsic ability. Now, your intrinsic ability is basically your intrinsic energy, your uh, hero heroic energy that you were given okay, during the disaster that sets you aside from normal human beings. Okay, so if we move along, we have speciality. So we've got speciality abilities. Support heroic ability, assault um, heroic ability, ultimate heroic ability, and movement ability. Okay? And then you move along to an even more powerful system called the mastery. Okay. Now these, you know, you've got utility, ranged, efficiency, and intrinsic ability. Uh, these, you know, this is where it seriously starts to get uh, good. You know, you can start to seriously upgrade your character. Okay. And then finally, we have champion abilities: combat boost, tactical boost, utility boosts, and defensive boosts. Um, I mean, uh, you know, it's like as if they're intending these to be used at uh, end game. You know, if you're, uh, yeah, not to do with PvP, that's a separate system. But it's like the end game system where, you know, you're very powerful and uh, taking on very powerful characters. Okay, so that's that. That's the skill system. Pretty straightforward, but very, very deep. Uh, you've got melee, defense heroic and ranged okay and these are your stats um so you've got to sort of think to yourself well which of these four stats do i want to stack up i mean we refer to it um as stacking a uh, statistic okay so if you want to stack defense instead of melee or ranged then what you would do is you would find well where are my defense abilities okay so that's what you would do right so let's come out of there. You've got consumables. So your consumables is basically the loot that you've um, picked up or rewards that you've earned during the game. Okay, And what these do is if you hold A or whatever button it is on the console computer you're using, okay, what it will do is it tells you fragment extractor, two hours. So that lasts for two hours and it's an uncommon consumable. Okay, So it's a duration consumable and it basically upgrades your character during the game. Obviously, I'm not going to keep reading all of them because it'll take for hours to do the uh, to do the video. So you've got shipments. Now these shipments, yeah, shipments, uh, they refresh every 20 hours or 24 hours. Now Hawkeye's Civil War that costs 500. Uh, what is that currency? Do you know what? I'm not sure what the currency is at the moment, but it units, right? Okay, you're, currency used by in-game vendors. Fine. So, speciality item, um, progress is one of a hundred, okay. Hawkeye's Marvel Studios Captain America Civil War outfit. So, it's an outfit set, okay. 
So you've got your nameplate. Now the nameplate is basically uh, the nameplate. It displays, um, you know, it displays on your character sheet. Okay, it's the main thing that you see to do with your character. So we've unlocked a few. So if I change the nameplate, if we go back to the character sheet, you'll see it's changed. So anyway, we're level five. That's our character level against the level of the characters in the game, and we've got power level sixteen. All right. And then you can see the uh, progress of the XP there. So we're about halfway through. And you get, like, you can see your stats, your basic stats there, look. So you've got Outfit. So Outfit is basically like a collection system that you can unlock or you can purchase. And it makes your character look so much better than what Kamala looks like right now. There is a whole plethora of outfits you can unlock, okay? But not just outfits. No, 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 no. You've got emotes, takedowns. Takedowns is where, like, if you've noticed in combat where you uh, press, I think it's B and A, B and Y, or Y and B together, you do a special assassination move, okay? And then, of course, yeah, back to nameplates, and you can buy better nameplates or unlock them, okay? So that's that. Right, so we've got, yeah, emotes, we've just seen that, yeah. So we've got the gear. This is one of the most important parts of the whole game, um, so you've got, um, you've got your wrists. What do we got? Armlets, your chest, and you've got your your uh, insignia. Now these four bits of gear, okay, which forms your armor gear, they're always the same throughout the whole game, but they upgrade. So basically, if we go into the system itself, so we're power level sixteen, and there's our stats. Okay, this is melee gear. Now, the uh, level of the gear item we've got right now is power level 19. But also, if you see over on the right-hand side of the pane, it's might 6. So, basically, I'm assuming... I mean, I can't confirm this, but I'm assuming that might affects your melee um, power when you hit people. Uh, so, it could, have, it could have precision, it could have might, resilience, strength. So, and it's an uncommon... Um, piece of gear as it's in green but you get blue you get uh, gold okay just the same as in any um, roguelike role-playing game so the gear perks it's uh, two stars out of five so that's it's sort of um, I would say bonus rating it's lightweight buff 15.3 percent chance light combo finishes finishes grant a debuff okay so when you do a combo finishing move on a mob as we call them mobs characters enemies it grants a damage deep a damage buff so when you do that finishing move there's a 15.3 percent chance that the next hit or next few hits you'll get a damage buff against them okay and then on and so on with the um what are these the range gear it works the same as well that's power level 20 and this is resolve six so you think your resolve is your will your will to defeat the enemy you resolve okay so adept gravitation payload 13.2 percent chance weak point attacks trigger an anti-gravity missile payload that causes nearby enemies to float in the air how weird is that okay so this is proficient inspiration armlets and that's valor six so each piece of gear no matter what it is has a different value to it and a different strength so that's how deep the system is but you've also got the inventory locker for your gear. And what you can do is you can store uh, not necessarily unwanted gear, but gear that you might want to swap out at a later time. Okay, so if we, uh, we can either um, dismantle this for resources to craft gear later, or you can equip it, or you can mark it for transfer. So if we hold Y, all right, it goes blue. Now, that has gone straight into our locker we've already got a piece of gear in there so that's what the locker's for and obviously to get it out of the locker you just press y and it moves it to the hero okay so it's gone back so we'll put it back in the locker for now so that's that so you got defensive you got your breastplate okay works in just the same way and heroic the heroic is the insignia now you notice this um this heroic sign looks like Harry Potter's scar. <laughs> it's got like a symbol on it. Okay. Lightweight blitz insignia. Uncommon. It's shield gear. 
So you're thinking, well, is this sort of like a set piece or something? It might well be. 16.3% increased damage from light combo finishers. Okay, resilience 5. So that's how deep the system is. So you've got artifacts. Now these artifacts work in just the same way as gear pieces, but they're um, basically they're perks. Okay, not perks. Sorry, they're um, basically upgrades, artifacts that uh, you carry around. So they are, um, what's the word? They're basically another level of gear. So this um, one is six power and might two, and the perks on this gear is shock resistance. And it's 6.3% damage reduction from all shock damage attacks. Okay? You've got a possibility of carrying three as you level up. So then you've got your challenge card. Challenge cards basically, we're known as Miss Marvel. Um, her name is Kamala Khan. Basically, the hero challenge card is something that you're working towards, you're working through. I mean, I've earned 11 of 200 points so far. So you've got level one level 2, uh, level 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. And every time you go through the levels of the challenge card and earn more points, you um, get more rewards, okay? You can buy challenges as well. Uh, you can, you know, you get weekly, sorry, you get daily challenges and weekly challenges, sorry. Okay, so you're always sort of, uh, there's always something to, you know, do. They're like little jobs, okay? So yeah, 6% of the challenge card completed, and it tells you what the next reward is if you hover over it. So your takedowns, well, they're the takedowns that we've got so far, okay? Now you've got comics, 13% of comics um, unlocked so far, so we've collected eight, uh, sorry, 11 of 88 comics. So if you click on comics, here's the comics. So each one of these cells with a comic in it is a collection. So I've collected all of that. So Avengers Assemble. Um, okay. There we go. So stat bonus is 1% critical damage. There we go. So there we are. Look, issue acquired. 1 of 5, yeah. So I've got the whole set of that. So I get 1% permanent critical damage bonus. So with this, if I collect them all... It gives you a 0.5 critical damage bonus. Now, actually, I've just realised something. I've made a little mistake here. <laughs> Each comic in the set of five gives you 1% critical damage bonus. So that's five critical damage bonus if you collect all of them. So I do apologise. I should have read the set bonuses, shouldn't I? Right, there we go. So that is pretty much a uh, character sheet guide there for you. Okay. And then obviously we've got the objectives, this is all the campaign, the DLC, um, and everything else, okay? You've got the marketplace, which is pretty self-explanatory. You've got everything that's for sale, all the cosmetics, the weapons, cosmetics, bonuses, um, the, uh, you know, the common and uncommon legendary, um, you like the uh, bonuses that you can acquire that last for two hours. And then finally you've got the codex. And the codex is uh, basically just information. It's just like the, the game lore. It doesn't have any function. You can just sit and read it if you want to. And it tells you the backstory of all the characters and all of the groups, the factions, and what happened to them and how they ended up where they are now. And then you've got the characters, the enemies that you've discovered so far. It tells you all about them. So there's three of nine collected on beekeepers. Uh, we've got two or four collected on exos, okay? So it tells you a lot about them. Okay, so there you go. It's just a quick overview of the actual game itself overall. Uh, just in case, you know, you're busy playing the actual game, having fun. But it's just a quick, simple guide. I know my, you know, my guide that you've just seen is probably not as deep as some of them. But uh, it's just a quick guide to tell you all about how the game works, all right? So leave a like on the uh, video. Um, subscribe to the channel for more updates, and thanks a lot.